Brian? Hey, thanks, Carly. Yeah, rather wet and breezy Friday morning out there. There's a live look at the Hawthorne Bridge and uh, Old Glory there in the lower left-hand side of your screen. And definitely a little bit soggy. 44 degrees east-southeast winds there at 15 miles per hour. Out to McMinnville, 51 degrees. A southeast breeze at 13 miles per hour. Still wet there. And temperatures 50, up to 50 in Hillsborough, the balmy spot. Typically one of the chillier spots on our morning commutes. But 48 in Beaverton, 49 for Garden Home, 48 as well as Tigard in Westland. Zooming out across the rest of the state, 44 still at the airport, 52 in Salem, 50 down the valley in Corvallis, and nearly 60 degrees this morning there in Tillamook. Live 3D pinpoint Doppler, these showers beginning to dissipate just slightly here in the past few minutes, but there's more where that came from. In fact, widening out the view quite a bit. You can see this area of low pressure up here in the Gulf of Alaska just continues to rotate these bands of showers into the Pacific Northwest, getting a little bit of enhancement out here, and that's what's going to move in as we go into the later afternoon and evening hours. These are cruising right along, so they'll be here by later on this evening. In fact, let's walk you through raincast. As we go through the next few hours, notice they really increase tonight. If you have evening plans, take the rain jacket and umbrella along because it will be a rather wet and breezy evening. And then we just get a bit of a break Saturday morning before more rain and wind arrive Saturday night into early Sunday. And that will leave us with quite a bit of mountain snow. In fact, take a look at Snowcast. Watch what happens as we go from now until Sunday evening. It's up to a foot and a half, if not more, there at Timberline, uh, close to a foot at Meadows. So it's going to be a rather snowy, uh, snowy weekend, especially on the latter half of the weekend. And your snow levels, they come down. That's the good news. 5,500 feet today, 4,500 feet on your Saturday, and down to about 3,500 feet there on Sunday. So some good news if you're looking to get up and hit the slopes. Now out along the coast today, rain increasing, breezy, isolated thunderstorms. We've seen some of those out off the coast. 58 for Newport, 59 for Seaside. In the mid-50s, up and down the I-5 corridor. Showers and breezy with that steady rain increasing late in the day along with those breezy conditions. Central and eastern Oregon, Rain at times, south winds there 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusts of 45 to 50 and nearly 60 degrees in Pendleton this afternoon. 48 for Cascade Locks today, 47 for Hood River. Showers and sun breaks, east wind switching around to a west wind tonight, gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Rain and snow for the Cascades with that snow level at about 5,500 feet. And here in the metro zone, 52 degrees downtown, showers and breezy, turning to more of a steady downpour late in the day. 54 for Beaverton, 53 for Hillsborough and Tigard and Tualatin. And zooming out to the east side, 53 at the Airport as well as Clackamas 54, one of the warmer spots there for Milwaukee as well as Oregon City. And up to the north side, 52 Scappoose as well as Salmon Creek and Battleground and 53 St. John's. Holiday lights are happening tonight, 48 degrees at 7 o'clock, wet and breezy. Wet and breezy conditions really continue throughout the evening hours. And your seven day forecast Saturday, we get a bit of a break during the midday showers, but turning to a steady rain well after dark tomorrow night. And then sh that rain changes over to showers for Sunday. Snow showers in the Cascades, a bit more of a break on Monday and then another wet and breezy system on Tuesday. Yeah, those icons though, they really make that rain yeah. look like it's whipping sideways. Through. <laughs> sideways rain. Hold the umbrella like this. Exactly. Right? <laughs> right. Just don't hold it the wrong way. You might go flying. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. <laughs>